Jesus Christ. I'm back from the absolute monstrous ale that I took yesterday. A lot of you guys may be asking, OP, did you ever get the true weapons? And the only one that we successfully got was true small shield. And unfortunately, we cannot get the other one unless we summon some more. We're currently at seven. So we need to do eight more multis to get true shield of rage. Which, this will give us physical damage mitigation built into his kit, plus negating the enemy's damage. So it's a pretty strong true weapon. To be honest, I didn't even know it did the physical damage taken down. At least I don't think I did. I might have known, but just completely glanced over it. Because by default, if you actually look at Niofumi, he doesn't really have a lot of damage mitigation. As you see here, you know, damage disable up level two. During regular attacks, he takes 10% less damage damage but that's only while he's regular attacking if you see here i don't think his normal attacks really last for too long in terms of the active frames as you see this is his active and i guess that yeah you know that is quite lengthy i actually didn't even know he did this animation because i never see it the ones that i mainly see is of course the skill animation which that actually looks really nice art animation he reminds me of something. Wait, I know what he reminds me of. It's fucking Potemkin's freaking, not Heavenly Buster, but his other super attack in fucking Guilty Gear. God, I hate that move. And then his true art is, uh, of course, the Rage Shield, and then... Has it always been this? I've never noticed this. He puts you in, like, a ball, then puts you in an Iron Maiden. Huh. That's actually pretty cool. It's a lot of detail, to be honest, for a free unit. So today... I guess we'll try to do the best we can and use true small shield with the team that's going to be pretty defensively oriented and go against the challenge quest. Now, real quick, though, I do have to actually look at something as you see my shop icon. I don't know what type of PNG they got on here, but I don't know, man. Every single update for GS, I feel like we're getting closer and closer just downloading malware. So let me see if I can actually max LB this god awful item because I don't think I can. I feel like I've maxed LB quite a few damage mitigation items recently. So I'm not for sure if we can actually max LB this. We're going to attempt to, but I don't think we can. Let's see. You don't say. We'll just use it as max leveled and use some other stuff. He'll be fine. He's going to be having sandstone with him anyway for this. All right, and then... Are you f***ing kidding me? It, I have been playing this game for three and a half years. Three and a half years at this point. And this is the first time I've ever faced such a dire circumstance. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Please tell me that I can use currency from some event that I was farming to maybe buy I can. So I need the light away. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Give me all these. And yep, problem solved. Completely fine. Dude, why did I become so broke? Or more so, when did this happen? If you're curious about what this true weapon does for Niofumi, not only does it reduce the damage that he receives from the enemy by 40% for 10 seconds, which is, I think, one of the longest defensive buffs next to true Atomus gear, it also gives him 25% more max HP, and it auto-fills his art gauge by one, and he gets more HP recovery to himself. So, yeah, just overall, you know, really good stuff. So, with this endurance quest, I don't actually know completely what we need to do and no i unfortunately have not pulled fina's devil wings yet or i have not pulled lisa smart skirt or any other good item from the uh, forever summon sometimes dude just gotcha gaming is nothing but pain but too bad we don't have a defensive light unit that buffs like more defensive stats because i would just use pretty much a mono light team with like juno naofumi mako and wait what am i talking about a serpa is a thing i don't know if we can beat it with a serpa though because I feel like we kind of need Juno, not Juno, but we kind of need Sandstone. Juno's just here to give us art gauge and stuff like that. And I mean, with this fight, I think you just have to survive through it. I don't think you need to do crazy amounts of damage. Maybe you do, but I don't know. Oh, wait, I just now realized something. Since uh, we got it, we can actually finally use it. Where's it at? Yes, sir. Melty's dress. We can finally use that. It's Max OB, by the way, because I don't actually get anything half the time. I, I think we're looking good, personally. I think this is a very established team comp. The only thing I'm worried about, because I haven't used Niofumi, like, at all, to be honest. The man has an insane defense stat, though. Jesus Christ. We don't have a Max Luck, either. If we had him with uh, actual luck built into what, what is that what is that system called luck buff there it is we actually had luck buffs on him with double crest and everything he's probably gonna have a little bit better for performance but i don't really care as long as he kills this because i don't understand exactly how you beat this you're supposed to beat this with reyes in the party we now have reyes in the party what is this boss anyway isn't it water i like how i'm saying that like i'm live streaming right now but i'm not for sure if this boss is water or if this boss is something else because if it's water i could use iris's frill bikini but even though it's not max lb 
speed we can get some equipment ct going here in a second here we go let's uh let's see what happens here we're gonna be using niofumi mako Aserpa, reyes completely free to play team no well needed uh yeah this is a water unit i'm pretty sure so oh my fucking auto's on oh mother I don't know if I need a reset. I might need to. I forgot I was auto farming earlier. So of course my auto was on. Doesn't Nayofumi's shield start with his art? Yeah, it does. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. One thing I do like about Nayofumi because it's kind of hard to tell with other characters. Not insanely hard, but I think as long as his shield is up like that, he has it. So see, it went away. Now he no longer has it. I'm gonna pop his shield again. He should be fine, I think. Maybe not because, you know, Otto wanted to go and screw me. Dude, I really don't know how long you're supposed to survive this for. This is actually somewhat scary. Not entirely scary, just like, you know, a little bit. I am somewhat worried at times. As long as we have some type of buff on him, it should be fine. I kind of wish Niall Fumi also had the passive that Miranda has, where whenever he starts taking damage, he drops his shield and gives himself 50 R gauge, but maybe that would just be way too broken for a unit like him. You know, to be honest, the R gauge on this team actually isn't that bad. And I really don't know how long I'm supposed to survive for. I'm assuming not insanely long, but it, it probably is supposed to be quite a minute before I actually am supposed to like, you know, just yeet myself. He does have a defense mitigation up right now, plus he is attacking normally, so he does have that 10% damage mitigation as well. And yeah, I mean, we're looking fine right now. Nayafumi's looking alive. I think we got this, to be honest. I don't think he's going out in the coffin yet. Oh, shit, wait. I don't think he's going out in the coffin yet. Hopefully he's not, because this seems like it's going to hit quite hard if I don't get the shield up again. But uh, yeah, look at that. Nayafumi's taking some damage, but who cares? You know what I'm saying? Doesn't even matter. Like, look, we even have 10% damage mitigation from an arts item. Like, that's pretty insane. Question, can you faint this boss? Because I kind of want to want to try it. I'm going to try it. Can you faint him? Probably not, right, Nayofumi? I, I don't think you can. Yeah, it didn't look like... Yeah, that, that looked like a terrible idea. So what happens if you don't faint? Doesn't it just heal you, I think? Chance to ignore the enemy's defense. And then, yeah, it recovers your own HP if you don't faint. I see, I see. I probably shouldn't have did that because now we don't have Mako's true art, so our art gauge is going to be a little bit lacking for a little bit. So how do you beat this, actually? Because, you know, we're two minutes in at this point. Nayofumi's looking quite healthy at the moment. At least I hope he is. I also have a sneaking suspicion that he could die in an instant. And I think because of that, I'm going to use Mako's art there to kind of slow the boss down, kind of give Nayofumi some, you know, breathing room. But as long as Nayofumi has some type of defensive buff on him, I think we're okay. I hope at least. Here we go with another heal from a Serpa. Yes, sir. So far, so good. This boss has a lot of buffs on him too, by the way. Like, Nayafumi's really fighting for his life at the moment, man. He's a grinder. I like it. Knows what he wants to be. And wait, no, I think that's just a visual bug. I highly doubt that actually works like that. Might be like, OP, what are you talking about? And what I was talking about was I saw two of Nayafumi's shields on the field at once. Oh, no, I remember what it was. In JP originally, Nayofumi was actually considered somewhat busted because if I remember correctly, whenever he first released on JP, whenever you saw two shields out on the field at the same time, he was was actually able to stack that because i remember that was something that was such a big topic whenever the crossover first got announced for global back in the day that was such a huge topic like yo Nayofumi can stack his barrier and that's like what that sounds insane and yeah it would have been if that was actually the case so we're at three minutes now uh i still don't exactly know when we're supposed to like actually kill this guy i don't know if he just dies after a certain period of time or this is for three minutes unless we're just supposed to do it and just survive for as long as we can i don't know if that's the premise of this it's just to survive for as long as you can and whenever you no longer are surviving that's just counts as a clear maybe that's the case Th that probably is the case because look at the amount of crit that this guy has <laughs> naifumi is now starting to take damage even with the barrier so i feel like we're gonna be going down soon man we really are maybe we won't though maybe we'll survive maybe everything will be okay good lord dude look at the amount of <laughs> Look at the amount of freaking procs from that. Jesus Christ. Oh, and now Fumi's dead. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. So what? We lasted for four minutes, pretty much. That's not bad. That's not bad. So you're not supposed to kill this guy. Is that how people were having like clears in 10 seconds or whatever? Or like one second was they just went into the fight and just instantly died. But even with that, you couldn't clear a fight in one second. Even if you like purposely trying to die. Your endurance level is titanium. <clears throat> sir ford built tough i would never say that again <laughs> look at that we cleared it interesting four minutes and 36 seconds it probably could have lasted a little bit longer if we didn't have to use reyes but i wanted to get the full clear but yeah man, i mean overall i'm happy i'm happy with him he exceeded my expectations he lasted a lot longer than i thought he would and uh yeah there's really not much else to say to be honest
If you guys want to see me do this again with the other tanks and see how long we could last, I can. You guys can let me know by leaving a like, comment, all that type of stuff. Thank you all for coming out. This video probably won't be releasing today because the day at the time of recording this will be Tuesday. It'll probably be releasing tomorrow on Wednesday. So if you guys want to see more Shield Hero stuff, let me know in the comment section. If you guys have an idea or a unique challenge or anything like that that you want me to do, maybe one of the Shield Hero units, I could try it. Just let me know. I read every comment that's in the comment section all the time. So if you don't think I see it just because I don't heart it, I probably do see it. It's just I don't want to hand out hearts to every single person. But if you get here within like the first 20 or 30 minutes, your comments probably gonna get harder. But thank you all for coming out again. It's been your boy Peter for the like, comment, subscribe for more. And last but not least, you guys already know, don't forget to drink water.